Today we're going to demonstrate the use of the Blackjack BK6000 hot air rework station available from Circuit Specialist. And what we're going to do is I'm going to remove a quad flat pack, which is a, a surface mount IC, using the hot air. Uh, this is uh, probably the best way to rework surface mount boards because it uh, prevents damage of the other components and also damage of the IC that's being removed. So theoretically you could take it off and reinstall it. Um, first thing I do obviously is make sure I'm grounded, uh, make sure that our machine is uh, set up, ready to go, so I've got the correct nozzle installed on it. And the nozzle is, uh, what I'm using the nozzle now is one that's made for a quad flat pack. What it will do is it will only apply heat around the lead to the part so it doesn't heat up the plastic on the part unnecessarily. I'm going to go ahead and turn the unit on. Uh, I've got several buttons that I can use to set this machine. I'm going to use the hot air gun, so I push that button. And what I do next is set the temperature and the air pressure. Now these settings are pretty much trial and error. Um, and just from experience, I know that I need somewhere around 300 degrees for the hot air temperature. And I usually like to use at least 75-80% of the airflow. Uh, the more airflow, the better. That means it's going to operate quicker. Problem is, the higher the airflow, you uh, are in danger of moving uh, some of the other components that you may not want to remove. So there's kind of a, a fine line there between what's best and, and what uh, won't um, unnecessarily affect the other components on the board. So I'm going to go ahead and set this now to 300. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and go to 320. A little bit more in the reverse. Uh, let's set the airflow to about 80%. Because on this particular board, I don't have any other surface mount components that are very real close to the part. And the nozzle uh, arrangement on this particular tip keeps the airflow pretty much just down on the leads of the part. So I'm going to go ahead and catch all this the arm. Air is warming up. First thing I have to do is apply flux. And I like to use the paste flux. I'll apply just a very little narrow bead all around the part, the leads on the part I'm removing. I like the paste flux because it's easier to use, it doesn't get all over the place. You can use a uh, liquid flux though if you prefer. So go ahead and put a bead of flux all around. I'm going to get my tool that's now warmed up as we can see it uh, up to the temperature we wanted. And go ahead and hold it as close as I can to the part until the solder melts. Now this could take anywhere from 10 seconds to 30 seconds, uh, sometimes a minute, depending on what kind of solder is used how big the part is, uh, how big the board is. Okay, it's melted now, so now I can go ahead and take it off. I use my vacuum pickup tool to remove it. Uh, the next thing I might want to do is go ahead and try to reflow any leftover solder on the board, and I may want to clean it up afterwards with some solder. But it's really that easy to remove a surface mount part.